Welcome all. This is Colo 5 playing Dark Souls 3 Cinders. This is on New Game Plus 7. And I keep forgetting to do this, but I'll show you some stats to start off with. And um, when you left me last, uh, I was getting my ass handed to me up in the high wall. Uh, yeah, I wanted to uh, spend a bit more time um, grind some souls and leveling up, make a bit more uh, just a bit more. A bit more viable, a bit more survivable character. So I got my longsword, got just the east west shield, more so for its uh, physical uh, damage reduction. And um, yeah, just the cleric sacred crime, just for a uh, bit of the health when I have time. And um, anyway, yeah, so I was avoiding, uh, and most of these are all just, um, yeah, stamina increasing items. I'm not using the build res uh, re resist. I'm pretty sure this will have um, this armor set, this uh, burial knight armor set. It definitely has better uh, absorption, uh, but I kind of do want the stamina. Oh yeah, I forgot to say as well that um, I was doing a little exploring as I was coming around here. Oh, and explain the in primordial fragments team. Uh, I was doing a little exploring and I found out that the uh, samurai guy that's always around here, um, he must have suicided off the side of the uh, mountain and his, um, his little uh, sparkly was just there with all his gear. Anyway, I will not be using that uh, samurai sword just yet. What was I explaining? Yeah, so uh, yeah, kind of surprise uh, looted there that um, I attempted a gun deer off site, uh, off camera, so and um, I uh, I killed him first go, and then um, yeah, he's became a little bit easier than what I had remembered on my previous attempts. Um, this is a, a ring, or what do, you, what do you call these things? They are accessories, accessories that uh, from the a boss item from Gundir. Anyway, so yeah, at the moment it just it's kind of stacks curse on enemy, so it's a little bit of a, a status um, increase, uh, and uh, it's. Fleetingly, okay, so it doesn't doesn't uh, last all along. Oh, I'll sort of show you actually. Anyway, yeah, so I kind of started the stream a little bit, and um, and I was going to show you. So yeah, that build up, and I was having a yeah. So I farmed up Gundy for a fair bit. And I got a number of souls off him, and then I started the stream uh, or started to record, and he was hand, uh, handing just absolutely handed it to me. And so yeah, my souls are trapped on the other side here, and uh, hopefully I can do a better, better of a run uh, and kill him this time. But yeah, I was so I was embed up after killing him from that first time, and um, you can get a, a really good summon at the start on, on the other side of the the wall that I just walked through, and uh, made it a lot easier, a lot easier to farm. And I uh, yeah got a couple of those primordial fragments and those are rewarded. I didn't really explain this too well in my previous um, discussions about what Cinders adds. So that uh, and and adding that curse of valor, uh, curse of valor will increase the amount of materials you can farm from bosses. Now you, if you defeat a boss without taking any damage or getting uh, no hit at all, you get a real uh, a number of uh, a number of the primordial trunks uh, chunks. And or slabs, whatever they are. Primarily fragments. Fragment is what they're called. Anyway, um, if you're able to do it with a, like only a small amount of health taken or only a couple of hits, um, the amount of resources is is, is lessened. Uh, but yeah, obviously putting that that well, not obviously, but the reward for putting on the curse of valor is that it it increases that that amount of um, those primordial fragments you can grab. I think I did think I mistimed that. Oh, thank God, the staggers coming in is a lot better. Except, yeah, I, I'm not sure if it's part of this update or just part of this mod that I can't repost, or I can't do that critical attack on his head after I um, stagger him. Yeah, so, really kind of just jumped into this. Um, yeah, if you're familiar with this uh, series, then yeah, this is just me um, kind of playing through a pretty new character, some very unleveled, I think I'm around level 30 now. And after killing this guy on camera, I will uh, use these souls and level up a little bit more to increase my survivability and hopefully make it so I die less and you get to see a bit more of this game instead of the same enemies over and over again. Oh! Yep, that was dangerous. I should be getting through, through the next phase. 
Yes, thanks God. Please transform. Yes. Yeah, I... So, you, the primordial fragments, what are they used for? So, after you, you know, once you're farming these bosses, so what you can do with them? Well, you can upgrade uh, a number of your... Hate that, hate that! Oh, I thought I got the room. Um, you can upgrade a number of your accessories is the biggest one, but... Oh, jeez. It's better not me again. That was early. A bit of lag. Frame skip. This that little star effect is the one I was talking about earlier. It used to do that with almost every every attack, and uh, that curse would build up. But it's uh, far more convenient, and it would also do a little more damage as well. All right, just get into a groove. Start getting into the groove. I hate this attack because the um, hitbox on it, and even around the back of the tail, that hits you as well. It's just um, I always feel like I'm away from it, so I don't have to don't have to roll, but because I want to get into a little bit more hit. But uh, when it hits you, it hits hard. Yeah, this is the groove. I like this. I love his jumping attack, and you just get him on repeat. Oh, that was a bit closer than I expected. He tracked longer than I thought he would. Just using that time to do a little bit of a uh, little heal. So yeah, as I said, I wanted to sort of just um, use this as a bit of uh, this part of the video. Just use this. Um, I wanted I wanted to discuss with this video is just uh, yeah a little bit more of of the boss mechanics of the Cinder's mechanics, but also I wanted to discuss the amount of news that has come out just recently, particularly being Elden Ring. There uh, a lot of videos, a lot of information come out just this morning. He is not staggering as much as he was before this stream. You know what's going on there? I don't think there was anything that I had equipped or unequipped. Anyway, uh, yeah, the news of all Elden Rings mechanics uh, from the playtesting and stuff. One um, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about is the concept of uh, crafting kind of your own Estus flag sort of thing. I'll explain that in a little bit detail in a bit. But also they're bringing back power stances. So now this is a game where you have power stances as from Dark Souls 2 almost, uh, almost entirely and the weapon arts. This is going much better. And finally, oh, I love the stagger. Yes, that's incredible. Like, I don't want to get all super fanboy over Dark Souls 2, but um, using power standards has made you feel cool. Made you feel like you earned. Yes. Oh. Oh. Ah. It's a bit risky there. Took the biscuit. Oh well. Yeah, it's the power standards. As I, get, as I said, um, it, made you, it kind of made, just made you look and feel cool, and just added another move set. It's a bit more interesting, and it, it made you feel a bit rewarded after you've leveled up your chosen uh, chosen stats. And uh, so, if you're not familiar, the to power stances allows you in Dark Souls 2 at least allowed you to use you two similar types of weapons, one in each hand. So you need to have like two hammers, two rapiers, two um, straight swords, two lances, that sort of thing. Oh, excuse me. Uh, together and um that have an increased moveset and you're you know likely that your um your damage would be increased Oof, i'm scared um yeah so the requirement of dark souls 2 needed meaning you had had to have uh at least uh i think it was one and a half times the amount of requirement so let's say it's 20 you needed like 30 points uh into into whatever chosen stat to use the power sensors effectively or even use um, like unlock the power sensors entirely but Elden ring i think it, at this stage it seems that there's no stat requirement damn i should have seen that uh but they do need to be the same type we got to see a little bit more about some of the infusions that you can put onto some of the weapons or even at least uh, allocate them uh, some stat scaling, which was really interesting. But the, uh, sorry, I over explained. I didn't explain that um, that uh, you can equip some of the weapon arts to different weapons. And this has been talked about a foot before, but you could see it a bit more in action. Oh, I thought I'd push the dodge button or maybe I'd run out of stamina. And, um, but yeah, no, that uh, is coupled with a option to choose what scaling you want to put in. So it's really interesting with that. Um, 
and you got to see a little bit more of some of the farming of uh, some of the animal types. Uh, I was just sort of curious because that's not really the common case for many of the, or really any of the souls. Even um, even I guess Sekiro was a little bit more far material farmy, um, but definitely in Elder Elden Ring. There's just a bunch of little uh, squaring animals, you know, little pigs and deers and, and rabbits, things like that, uh, that will scurry around and you can farm stuff on them, and, and birds and things as well. Anyway, but yeah, just uh, everyone's talking about the, the ranged uh, combat, the mounted combat, and, and uh, a bunch of the sorceries and spells and things look really uh, incredible as well. So it will be interesting to see what goes around, and it's good to see a little bit of PvP and seeing how that's going to pan out. Just curious how if they're going to keep um, the concept of if you're a solo player running around, you cannot get invaded unless you use some specific, specific uh, materials. So it's, um, I guess it's a, it's definitely more friendlier to the new community that comes in, meaning that, um, and I guess it's more of a sense to help. Uh, to, to stop from just getting spam invaded and stop you from um, exploring your world um, keep having your summons uh, and your mount taken away from you while you're uh, while you're just exploring while you're just trying to play the game as a single single player component yeah but uh, we'll just sort of see how that all pans out but so far I am really impressed uh, you call me fanboy call me call me a fanboy or call me a bit of a shill for some some from software but just seems that they are doing it right uh doing some of this um things really well i guess it's still early to say the game's not out yet but just from a lot of the people that have reviewed it they're saying it it looks quite good uh, and this seems to be a little bit of uh the kind of, to, to me it's a mark of um good publishers good um Good, it sort of produces on any sense of it, and obviously the, good, the, the dev work. I, and I'm pretty poorly explaining this right now, but I just think the company, the whole group of from software, um, seems to um, be advertising themselves well, like not just uh, overshowing um, their mechanics or advertising heavily and all that sort of stuff. It's all about um, establishing the hype where it needs to be, but. Uh, you compare it to some of the other uh, more recent uh, AAA releases, and it's just here's what makes it amazing or here's all the graphics that make it amazing uh and then once you buy the game and you experience it yourself you're like yep yeah, sweet that that's that looked like what it what it was demoed and then um you start trying to play the game the game is different to what you've been demonstrated um just it's, it's kind of like substance is kind of my, my point of this this little rant that i'm going on here Oh, getting into the groove, but I'm gonna have to push him back because I felt like I was getting into a corner there. I will love to upgrade and to do a bit more damage. This will be great. Oh, really wish I could repost. Yeah, so he's, I think he's just got far less moveset, or at least the uh, the the moveset while up close to his body is uh, very predictable, very much a rhythm. I think I'm only really getting two, two or three different hits. It's like, there's a strike. Oh, and this is done. Thank God. Oh, I can be an Embed Boy again. Sweet, I actually got a primary shot off that one as well. That's pretty good. I did take a few harder hits. Um, all right, so let's use these while I've got them. Um, actually, no, I was gonna, I'm gonna buy some stuff first um, before I start using these, which is a little bit dangerous. I'm just gonna go for a little explore around. Oh, okay. Um, this is different. Yep, did you hear me? Oh, that was close. That's just a new element to put there. Well, I'm curious if, um, oh, there's a lot of, okay, yep, this is probably not, okay, no, this is different to what I, uh, when I last played, uh, went through this area. I did not, I expected it to be quite normal, but maybe they must have, uh, 
grab that uh boost bolster that up all right let's uh let's just use our souls before i lose them again that would be very upsetting yeah so that um now it took us about 15 minutes to get through that. Uh, so I did have that f what, for, uh, at least one failed attempt at Gundia, but yeah, that was a pretty long fight, wasn't it? Uh, but yeah, luckily I got into the groove of that and um, chipped away his health and got it down. But yeah, I will be using some of these souls now. And upgrading. I just grabbed this spell. It's not uh, just transposing. Oh, and this is a chance I did forget get to tell you earlier but this is a chance to show you one of the other mechanics this is a very late game and it's intended definitely for the, the late pvp pve i should say so this master is once you get a stat ranked up um not bolstered by any of your, your equipment or, or clothing or anything like that you can um put these masteries on and they're, they're, they're free just as you need to get your stat up to 99 so if I got my endurance up to 99, and I get immunity to all non-fatal fall damage. Um, one of the probably biggest ones out of this, I think it's from Faith, doubles the effectiveness of health uh, health restore, restoration. That's pretty massive. I have played around, excuse me, I've played around with that. That's pretty huge. Uh, bolsters your... Um, equipment load so these are these are interesting uh late game or perhaps end full-on end game uh components there oh what was the one i saw this hail hail of blades who's does that frida okay yeah that's a new spell to me do not do not know rhyme either but um i when i first saw the hail of blades i thought it was going to be like the like the um like the spell the the arrows that shoot down from um Aldrich. Aldrich? I think it's him. Anyway, I'm going to do some buying of things. Oh, I need to buy some things. I'm going to buy all your spells. Because this pretty much gives you a bunch of spells that some other NPCs give you later. I will definitely get on to the fire stuff. Because we're going to kill those puss of mans. And it's... I don't know, it's, I feel it's a little cheap that, uh, or not cheap, it's a little uh, exploitative that the uh, Dark Glove, uh, Dark Glove, uh, what do you call it? It's a channeling item, um, spell item, whatever it is. Your weapon, anyway, I'm trying to. That, uh, how many of these do I have as well? That, you know, could cast all spells, so I think it's a little bit overpowered. I guess it is a small uh, requirement, is that your faith and your intelligence need to be at 10. What am I looking for? This thing, 19. Okay, so I could buy some equipment. Not a ton. View inventory. I can't remember the strength and bond. Devotion to cover and has increased. How do I know? I'm sure this is... Uh, I'm sure this is a component that can be explained on the wiki, but the strength and bond. Let's equip the current. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm sure. Okay, so that degrade. So all of these is number one, number one, uh, level one. This is level two now. And it's increased my stamina. So I think that was 10 to start with. So that's five lightning. Oh, now it's 15, yeah. Uh, so that is an interesting component. You lack 20. Oh, did I use them? Maybe I consumed them. So, yeah, as I say, this is definitely something. Okay, nine now. I think I had 19 I used. Right, so, I can't buy anything now. That's okay. An extra 15, a couple of percent of vitality. Uh, not vitality. Stamina is really good. What can I buy from you? Too many thoughts right now. Alright, so. Yeah, something you could go through the wiki and see how you can uh, upgrade all of your covenant um, uh, items, um, sigils, I guess they kind of are. These relics are definitely failed on these, but these are incredible, powerful, um, incredibly powerful uh, items. If you can kill the solar cinder without dying or without getting hit, then you can unlock these uh, ridiculous um, rings. And which are, or can also be bolstered, which is the next thing I was going to discuss, this affix. 
So you can use your Pomo to fragrance, as I was saying, this is what you can farm off the bosses and increase a bunch of your rings and things. Um, what can I increase right now? I can increase, no, I don't really want to increase any of this just yet. Probably the accursed one. Yeah, let's do that. So this will give me a little bit of um, effect. Have I run out yet? Insufficient? Did you just say me? Yes, you did. Cool. But also, I, I guess I could have bought. Oh, I could buy off oh, from. This equipment's pretty good as well. I think I'll buy it. Oh, no, I don't worry. Oh, I've already bought something now. I'm going to buy more equipment now because I can. Because I have all of those. Such a ton of spell, uh, souls. Those items there, the unlimited use, if you caught that, I skipped through it pretty quickly, but um, I think they use your FP uh, instead. They should use. I want to buy none of that. Oh, I should buy the... <laughs> that... That ring that can save your, uh, save your souls. I won't reinforce or infuse. Can I infuse yet? Oh, maybe I'll infuse. Yeah, I'll give one to lethality. That increase my actual. It does increase it. Yeah, I'll do that. I don't think. Oh, I can't. I can't reinforce anyway. We'll buy some of this gear. Curious of this short uh, short sword. I do like that. Bit of bleed. Definitely got the claymore. Already picked that guy up. I'm gonna go an axe. Cestus. No, I'm gonna get the scenting palm later. It'll be better. Do I have a bow? I can't remember if I've got a bow. I don't think I've got a bow yet. I think I'll use. I will just use a short bow. I will have to kill the uh, dragon soon as well. Uh, which I could have probably done with spells. Can't use those. Haven't talked to him yet. Sorry, I'm skipping through all the dialogue. Oh, I don't know. Take up more of that time. Oh, this uh, this NPC gives you training dummies. Very minor thing. I haven't used it. There's always usually be a little skeleton there, and you can uh, choose. Actually, you can choose whether that attacks you back and practice your your parries, which is interesting. I think. Okay, I haven't unlocked any other NPCs. Okay, so now I probably done. That's what I was doing. Sorry, I'll just see if I can buy anything from this guy because I know this guy's got. should have. He does have, but I do need the rat tails. Huh. It may be the gauntlet. It may be the gauntlet mode that gives him more. Um, more items and you don't have to use your rat tail, but I could be wrong with that. That's what I was looking for. I was looking forward to see if she had. Um, she had any repair powders but maybe i can buy forge it from here first nope i can't i cannot i cannot i will buy some homie bones though just in case that'll probably be enough okay let's get into some, some level ups make myself less squishy i do want some endurance i will give you up to 10 for uh, 20 first Attunement. Oh, I've been an idiot. I accidentally put stuff into attunement instead of endurance. That's my fault. Okay, let's get all these guys up. Yeah, I know. Quality is not king in this game. No, I don't want fatality. Bring that right down. I do need that just yet. I do need some of that. I do need some of that. I will just take this up to. Yeah, I'll just take it to 100 for now. I'm sure, that'll give me a noticeable improvement. Or will it? I can at least now use the. This glove instead now. Okay, sweet. So I've got a little bit better now. I may even. Look, I may buy. I'm gonna buy another lethal gem and and infuse that to claymore as well. 
I was gonna, oh, sorry. I was keeping one of those uh, one of those reinforcements, the lethal gem, for the Lothric straight sword later. Um, I will be swapping that out with my current little straight sword. And yeah, the thing I was gonna mention last episode as well is if you're um, if you're seeing this content and you are um, unsure, you know. You, you, doesn't make sense why your game's not looking like mine because there are a number of um, changes that Synthes does. Obviously, it's a mod; it changes a lot of things. But uh, changes from the original being some of the uh, traversal methods. Obviously, I started out um, over under the tower, under the tower of where you find um, all that gear, the eyes of the handmaiden. Uh, what if what she's called? The she's not a handmaiden, but the. The fire link, the firekeeper, fire link keeper, whatever. A little bit more damage. That's that's much better, much better damage. Um, yeah, I'll keep my lightning guy for a little bit later. I was just thinking I could farm up that before I get back to him and purchase some. Oh, his stuff. Oh, I'm feeling far more confident now, which is a good and bad thing. Yeah, I'll be using this for the passive man later. Feeling like I'm not going to die to one hit anymore. Oh, another lethal gem. Yeah, actually, that was so. That was the thing. The two, one of the two things. Like, obviously, I started at a different spot. I didn't start out at like out of the graves. Those, uh, the big coffins of the, um, you know, the other side of pretty much Gundir, or I was just fighting there. Um, also, that you, you, you know, you can't really, you can't level up from any bonfire, and you can't reinforce or infuse from any bonfire in the vanilla, but you can in this mod just you know, saves you having to come back all the time now in the vanilla definitely it was important like pretty much when you finish a boss or after you talk to an npc and they'd they'd arrive back at your fire link it's good to have a reason to force well not force but uh, um get the player to come back to home you know, pretty much home being the fire link shrine to talk to them, the npcs continue any quests and things like that jeez Still does a lot of damage. Oh no, I can't use that. Just thinking I still had metal. Um, oh, I didn't realize you were a bit short. Actually, what if I can do this? Boom! Oh, he didn't go up in the air or anything, which is probably good for PvP, really, because that I'd use that a lot. Um, originally, so I just used then the little last uh, like flame spurt thing that um, is the special effect of the glove. Don't go over that, I'm not going to aggro the Mimic. Okay. I probably will end up aggroing the Mimic. If I can get a, a strong attack off, yeah, that's what I was wanting to do, but I wanted to do that. While... You weren't striking. I mean, while you're near the Mimic. Oh, this is... Oh, so scary. <sighs> I don't know why those guys give me so much trouble. I don't even know. It's definitely just my abysmal damage output. Oh, did I equip that ring again? I think I had I. Oh, I would have unequipped it. Ah, oh, so when I affixed my ring of curse thing before that guy, it unequipped it and I completely had forgotten. Ah, so I lost my embed status. Oh well. Hopefully, they don't lose their souls. Yeah, that's what I damage output just gone up, which will help me with this invader. Oh, and so since I upgraded it, I haven't actually looked at my stats, but pretty much it, it'll add the amount of. Um, oh, that's not what I wanted. That is not what I wanted at all. I'm just going for a L2. I'm be honest, I uh. Completely didn't understand L2 R2 because playing on computer, I don't really understand. I know it's like it's light attack, heavy attack, but particularly when um, watching a lot of the guides for this game when it first came out, trying to understand how to pull off some things or how you know pull off some maneuvers, and they're explaining 
you know, this is the button combination, or this is sort of the rhythm that you need to press. When people are just saying L1, R1, kind of confused me, honestly. But oh well, you just gotta, gotta work these things out. Anyway, this ring should help out. Oh, it would help if I time my dodge. Dodge is better as well. Alright. So it does seem like we are teetering back to where I had started from, but at least next episode we will get a chance to go a little bit further. And having this ring, as I was going to say, so upgrading that ring increased the sort of state. Oh, what do you just suicide off to? Anyway. Oh no, you're still alive. And um, on the bosses, like applying uh, poison build up became such a a method for me to continue to keep output on. And really, I guess, um, as I was saying before, like using the, um, using uh, this method against the Vitality Curse, the Vitality Curse being that the enemies keep healing uh, once you start damaging them, uh, it may be a good way to sort of keep that thing down and keep the sort of the health pool uh, to a minimum while you're fighting them. Strats, strats for thought, eh? And yeah, actually, I didn't really explain, so this curse is definitely new. It's not a uh, Dark Souls 3 vanilla uh, edition or anything like that. Um, I think it, uh, what it does is, it does some components such as um, reduces the overall stamina, I think. And may, or maybe it's just uh, their absorption. I have to double check if there's been any um, additions. And yeah, so I was wearing that accessory, or I thought that was going to get me. Um, while I was fighting Gundyr, but I would say that he's got curse resistance, or is very resistant to it, either immune to it, potentially. Can you just run out of stamina for me, please? We'll get the curse build up. Oh, that's what I want to do. Just trying to avoid the tracking. Obviously, the further I'm away, the more traversal there has to do to hit me. Sort of scared it's gonna break my lock on. Don't get too greedy. I really like the curse build up to happen to you. Oh. Break the lock on. Get the curse build up. I guess he's got far more resistance than the little scrags I was fighting earlier. Oh, I didn't want to break my lock on. Can you? Yes. God damn, he's, the curse is not building up on him at all. I would really like to kill you now. Build up the curse. You'll you'll heal in a sec, aren't you? That really upset me. I don't like the stance you're going there. Hopefully we're gonna out. Oh I don't wanna get too excited. Oh. Getting too greedy. Oh, all right, all right. That's disappointing. That is disappointing. Yeah, well. I will kill this guy. You pretty, I pretty much did it then. I'm really upset, but I, I'm gonna do that off screen because I'm sick of I'm sick of making you guys watch this. I uh, uh, will call that an episode. Um, thanks again for watching, and uh, please comment. Uh, let me know what you're interested in. Uh, give me some feedback. Uh, I'm still new to this. Uh, I'm enjoying it, and I'm enjoying it. If you're if you're uh, liking this series, uh, come along with me. Um, you're welcome to. Take care, all.